Well, this week we are celebrating Grad Week here at Houston Life, and today we want to introduce you to twin brothers whose equal ex in excellence in academics got them a tie in their quest to become valedictorian at Katy High. It is so true. They are Armand and Ronak Saxena, and they are here now with more on this extraordinary achievement. Guys, welcome to the show. GPAs back in my day didn't go higher than 4.0. No. Yours were 4.8525. You both had Thai GPAs, though. So what was the tiebreaker? Because only one of you could become valedictorian. Yeah, that's a question we got basically every day in the last month of school <laughs> because everybody was wondering, like, oh, how are they going to break the tie? And yeah, so basically what they did was they looked at all the classes that we had together and they just, like, looked, like, really in detail and they saw, like, which grades um, I had higher and which grades he had higher, and I just barely edged him out by half a point. Half a point. Okay, Ronak, um, does he, I mean, is it a constant competition? Are you guys always in competition uh, or? Yeah, I would mainly say it was more like a friendly competition. Like we both like support each other, but we also like both really worked hard to like achieve the goals that like, for example, valedictorian, we both really wanted to always maintain all A's, but it's not like, oh, I need to beat him. It's like, I want to attain the same level of success. Like, we want to be, like, right there. Yeah. So it was really more on the friendly aspect of it rather than, like, an actually heated rivalry, I would say. I can tell you guys get along. Safe to say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah I can yeah, definitely say 100%. For the most part. For the, uh, for the most part. <laughs> okay, siblings, right? It's also pretty incredible just reading through your interests. I mean, Ronak, leadership, compassion, personal drive, just a few of your qualities. Armand, you're interested in sports, statistics, geography, economics, history. I mean, you're both pretty well-rounded. Where do you think this drive for excellence uh, really comes from? I mean, I think we just had like a love of learning and like knowledge in general, like since a long time, I guess like our parents instilled in that in us. And I mean, that's probably why we like doing trivia and quiz bowl and all that kind of stuff, because like we just like learning things basically. Yeah. And I will also say that I'm glad for my parents for that, because like I remember when we were little, they would always like buy us like encyclopedias. Like I remember them giving us like dinosaur encyclopedias and like animal encyclopedias. And just we were just like. I think because of that, we always love to learn. And I think that's what's really important in our drive to success because we never stopped loving to learn. And I think that was the main part for us to just further go further in our academics and even extracurriculars. Like, we just always kept that in mind, and that's what made us just keep going forward. I'm super impressed at such a young age, and to, to not only have the GPA that y'all had and, and to achieve what you have at high school, but also besides the studies, right? I mean, because you have so many other interests, and that's really the well-rounded student, right? When filling out these college applications, they want to know what else did you do, as if that's not enough at school. So to be able to manage all of that at a young age, how did you guys manage that over the four years? I mean, it's just, I guess, like, doing what you want to do, basically. Like, spending time and, like, setting out time to do things that you just, like, actually want to do. Like, for me, I have a blog that I write about, like, film and the Oscars. So just, like, setting out, like, two hours every day or, like, four hours on the weekends, like, scheduling to just, like, write what, like, I feel passionate about, like, yeah. that was important. Yeah, and also just, like, keeping in mind that studying is important and focusing on your schoolwork, but also do sometimes like take time to do things like you actually like you, you're you passionate about. Like for me, I try to find somehow like in the day, just an hour to like practice like playing ping pong because that's just something like I love to do. So, and it's also funny because like in the last like few weeks of school, I just like played ping pong with like other people because since we are seniors and we graduated, right. that's, that's all the time we had to do, so. Just always set some time to do some stuff that you truly feel happy about, you know? It's Just great advice. Wow, you're all like so wise and I so involved. <laughs> and with GPAs that high, it's okay to take a few minutes and play ping pong. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, Armand Ronak, do you want to uh, sit tight? Because when we come back, how about a friendly little competition? They're going to face each other to play quiz bowl, but uh, something tells me we're going to be involved, Courtney. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know which one's my partner, but I'm going to apologize now. Who's going to win? We're going to find out coming up.